Hello everyone, and in this video we will be talking about how to transform something like this into something like this. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Skyscape TCG. Wow, it feels so amazing to actually say those words again. <laughs> but topic for today's video is going over turning something like this into an actual professionally looking card. Now in a previous video I was talking about how to draw homemade trading cards by hand. However, sometimes that can look, well, not as professional as you want it to look. So in today's video we will be talking about how to put a card onto Photoshop, uh, how to edit it and make it look as good as possible for when you are printing your game. Now first things first before we get into that, I do want to address just the overwhelming popularity for the first part of this video, which was of course how to make a trading card by hand. Now, that was, and still is, by far my most viewed video on YouTube, and I cannot thank you guys enough for having uh, 2.8 thousand videos on this video is just absolutely insane. So, yeah, with, with that being said, I just thank you guys so much. Thank you. But with all that out of the way, guys, the very first step into making all of your trading cards online is, of course, drawing down the card and doing the artwork. Now, this can vary from person to person. Some people like to draw entirely digitally now. Other people, like myself, prefer more of a traditional route. So the very first step of what I will do is I will take a piece of paper, just nothing really special for me, just a normal piece of printer paper, and I'll spend some time working on a pretty good artwork like this one. You can see it's all drawn by hand, but I will do the, uh, the pencil lines and the inking, of course erase the pencil lines, but after I have a sheet like this, what I will then do is I will take the image and put it onto a printer slash scanner. And once it's the side of a scanner like this one, I will put that onto my computer and pull up Photoshop. From there, it's all just a matter of knowing your, uh, your Photoshop skills or, for example, things like Procreate, um, various different online uh, digital editors. I know there are several that are free, other ones you have to pay for, etc, etc, but honestly just whatever you're comfortable with is uh, really just the way to go. But after we do some coloring like this and we end up doing the artwork completely, now it's time to focus on the template. So what I personally did is I had a friend of mine help, uh, a friend by the name of Nick. He's responsible for the trading card game known as Doorkeeper, so a little shout out to him. But he ended up updating my template and my cards from something that looked like this to something that looks like this, which is pretty darn cool. But the best thing is that he actually took my logo design and updated that too, so without him my cards probably wouldn't look as nearly as good as they do now. But yeah, just huge shout out to him. But once you get a template down, like this one for example, all that you really have to do from here is come up with the card details. Now for the card details, what I personally like to do is I like to go on to Google Docs. Of course you can write these down in a notebook, but I just find the ability to uh, have everything done completely digitally, uh, except for just the sketches like this. I find it so good, and personally for me, Google Docs works the best. Uh, just being able to write down everything that you want to, uh, seeing if any words are misspelled, if your uh, grammar is correct, which I know sometimes that doesn't necessarily matter for cards, but uh, just being able to jot down everything and have just a list of just everything that I need to see, it helps out so much. Uh, but what I do from there is once I get a card ability done like this one, I will have that on my Google Docs, uh, then I will take the information from there and just write it down on Photoshop or again whatever digital editing software that you want. And it's just honestly as simple as writing down the card detail, uh, fitting the artwork into your card template, 
and with a couple of Photoshop uh, skills and edits, you're able to have your very own trading card. And what you do from there is you can just print the cards very easily uh, using websites such as the Game Crafter. Uh, if you guys don't know what the Game Crafter is, it's a very helpful website to actually print and officially publish your game out there on online and everything. Uh, they are by far the uh, most credible and most used website in the homemade trading card game community. Uh, so definitely be sure to check it out. Uh, I'll actually probably make a part 3 video to this talking about uh, how to publish stuff on the Game Crafter and how to use them. But with all that being said, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. And as always, aim high and pierce the skyscape. Goodbye, guys!